Oh, well, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, my, my name is Daniel Olson. Uh, I'm the founder of Eldering Games. Um, it's a 100% indie game studio um, and uh, self funded. Um, so, uh, we're, we're stationed uh, in Stockholm today. Uh, started in Sweden in 2007 and uh, in my hometown, a couple of hours north of Stockholm. And uh, it was basically all me uh, back then. But uh, today, I have a five, five staff team. So, we're a small team of uh, but very talented people. And we're located in Stockholm, and with office next to to, to the Royal Castle in Old Town. Um, we create uh, and we work on the Clevision Sniper game series. Uh, it's uh, got my old uh, Flash version of the game have about 100 million plays. Uh, my, my the mobile versions have uh, roughly 35 million installs on on iOS and Android. Uh, 1.6 million reviews on the App Stores, uh, with a pretty pretty high um, average score. Uh, so the games have been doing pretty well so far, um, and uh, we're working on a new game called Clevision Online. Uh, estimated release is uh, this summer. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you some footage of that game at the end of the uh, at the end of the slides. So, uh, so how it all started uh, for me? Uh, I used to play a lot of football, and uh, I was aspiring to become a uh, a professional football player back in Sweden. So I put I put all my energy and all my dedication into you know all time. Uh, to, to practice football. I have a twin brother and we used to you know, kick football all the time. So and here's a picture of uh, where I was part of the elite team in, in my hometown. Uh, uh, but the one day uh, when I was, um, well I was uh, 17 actually, so um, I started having this lower pain uh, back in, in the back. Uh, I was starting having pain in my lower back and I, was, I remember I was writing a test in school. And uh, I was like starting sweating a little, and it was just starting to have a weird pain in my lower back. And uh, that night, uh, when I was asleep, I woke up, and I was in a lot of pain. And I was all sweaty and with a really high fever. And I ended up in hospital, and uh, uh, well, ended up in hospital and fighting for my life. And uh, I had gotten some kind of a bacteria entering my uh, my bloodstream, probably from uh, from a wound that I had in my heel from practicing too much football. Uh, so I ended up there, and I was in a lot of discomfort, and and I was on morphine 24, 24 hours a day. My dad was with me the whole time, and he lost more weight than I did, <laughs> so he lost more than 10 kgs. And my brother was there every day, and so it was a, a rough time. Um, Afterwards, I was, uh, it was quite, kind, of, kind of uncertain if I was going to be able to play football, but it was during that time of rehab when I couldn't walk in the beginning, but eventually I started walking and started playing football again. Uh, it, but it was during that time of rehab, because I was in quite, of a, quite in a dark place. I had this idea of a game, because I, I, I had been active in, in like forums, in uh, animation forums. I was very interested in animation. And, uh, so I had inspiration for a game idea, and I sort of had to start to learn programming and stuff like that to make it a reality. And uh, I did. That was like the light that I had in my life. It was, it was like all I was thinking about. Like w the morning I woke up, I thought about this game. And uh, when I was going to sleep, I thought about that game. <laughs> uh, and that game was the very first, ga first game of the Clevision series. Uh, released back in 2007, the Flash game, and it, that that was part of the that was one of the games that had been played over 100 million times on on the Flash portals uh, of the time. So, and I also discovered that back then that I could actually make a little bit of cash from from doing something that I truly enjoyed doing. Uh, that's sort of the back, background story to to well to my company and to to the Clearvision Games. Uh, so just a, a quick overview. I did uh, a couple of Fla uh, the Flash games from 2007 and, and onward. Uh, released the first first mobile game in 2012. Uh, and another one came the year after, and then we worked on Clevision 3 for for a bit longer. And uh, so and here are some uh, images from uh, from the very first game that I ever made. <laughs> it's uh, so I, I wanted to give the player. Uh, I felt that that uh, many games at the time lacked uh, engaging storylines. So uh, this was uh, part of my attempt to, to give the player a more like something meaning behind the games and not just straight gameplay shooting. And uh, up to the left there, his parents are killed. He's taken away as a child soldier and he's got a lot of anger. And it's, it's all he knows, so he becomes a hitman. So that's sort of the setup for the very first game that I made uh, during rehab, during the time when I was sick. And the first game uh, for mobile, a few images. 
In this game, it's about uh, the main character's name is Tyler, and he's a janitor um, working at a supermarket, and his boss is pushing him around, and you know, you missed a spot there, and uh, you gotta do this, and uh, people barf everywhere, so uh, eventually he quits, and he punches his boss in the face and says, I quit, and he tries to find other jobs, uh, anything from you know, a light bulb changer uh, to uh, whatever, but he doesn't get any job, so and that's when he notices the, the rifle like in the corner of his room, and he's like, yeah, maybe I could become a hitman. <laughs> so, so that's how he sort of uh, that storyline, and then and uh, the, the Clear Vision Three has another uh, storyline, same main character, but still, yeah, still want to give the player uh, sort of more behind everything, and not just straight up gameplay. So. That's been the focus, and I, I put a lot of humor into this, in, into the games, like satire, and, and um, that's I think that's uh, something that the players really ap appreciate. If you played Grand Theft Auto, you know South Park kind of humor. I try to slide that into the game, but, and um, yeah. So uh, just a, a small little uh, overview of, of uh, the, my indie indie journey. It started back in 2007 when I was in the hospital. And I was uh, I started developing the game, and and uh, I kept doing that for a couple of years. And I was able to, you know, get my first office, get an apartment, and I was able to do it full time uh, professionally. And uh, so I put, uh, well, that was that was pretty much all I did. Um, and then I, I knew I had to move over to mobile because you, you can't live on flash games forever. So um, I set out to do that in like uh, early 2011. I started learning how to make the uh, mobile version of the game. And uh, I put like, all my energy into that game. I put all my <laughs> savings, and I ran out of my money. Uh, so I had to move back home. I had to terminate the office space. But uh, I was willing to take the risk because I knew, well, I, I believed uh, very much in, in the game that I was uh, making. Uh, I, I, thought I, was, I thought I was bringing something new to the market. And I really wanted play, players to, to enjoy it as much as I had done while developing it. So. Um, yeah, that first mobile game, it hit the top three spots in, in the US paid, the top paid, after Angry Birds and Draw Something. So it did, it did change my life. Uh, and I was able to you know, get an office in Stockholm and um, you know, take the next step. Still, still really trying hard, uh, still really wanted to keep like this indie. indie. We don't have any investors uh, or we publish our, publish our games ourselves. So, um, and that's something that we really well, that I really like. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we have five, five staff team uh, based in Stockholm, and we've been working really hard on a new game called Clevision Online that I mentioned in the beginning, and um, it's going to be released later this summer, uh, early summer, hopefully. And um, yeah, also partnered with a, a company called uh, Publish, it's sort of uh, cooperating. They have sort of an interesting indie setup where they sort of become a marketing partner assisting you in how to you know get your game out there and get the word out um, so the next level I just uh, you know I can't help myself to show you I want to show you a bunch of uh, like images from the new game uh, so from these old flash games where it's like a one-man band it was all me doing everything we are now we working with really good people as well and uh, really proud of the new clear vision that we're developing so it's gonna be called clear vision online like I said um, the game, a uh, couple of snapshots from the, a uh, couple of screens from the, from the actual game, and uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be um, an, a synchronous uh, multiplayer game, a sniper game where you have, you sort of, you attack other players, and they have their own base, uh, while they're offline, like sort of like Clash of Clans, kind of uh, multiplayer, and you have your own. Uh, yeah, taking out other players in their bases are the actual missions. So uh, if you want to make it harder for someone to hit you, you, you upgrade your base, you, you can hire guards and place them around your base to make it harder to be, to be, to be shot. And so, so we call it a sniper strategy game because it's like a mix of uh, strategy and sniping skills to sort of win the battles. And um, you have, a, obviously, there's a lot of focus on weapons in this game. And we have a, 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 a bunch of different uh, parts that you can combine any way you want. So it leads to like almost 100 million <laughs> combinations that you can build, build your own weapons. And also customize your character with the beards and silly faces and, and stuff. Uh, so that, that's a bit like short presentation of the Clevision online game. And 
Right, here's some gameplay footage uh, from the game that I want to show you. Uh, so this is what we call the man cave. Uh, this is from, from here you access all the game's features. And up there, where I will show you, that's the weapons desk. From here you can customize your weapon in all kinds of ways. And it's going to be, you can make it look really silly if you'd like, or <laughs> really professional. So that's my favorite. That's called, we call it the bean shooter, because it's basically just a wooden plank. <laughs> And uh, next up, I'll show you a bit of uh, the base building. So in here, you, 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 you get to like, upgrade your base to the actual building. The different kind of levels. You get to choose different locations. So you can live in Antarctica or uh, like in the woods or in the beach or whatever you, whatever you feel like. Uh, yeah, you can place. Another building there, if you'd like. <laughs> yeah. So I think I prefer to live on the beach to get away. A bit different from the Swedish weather. Uh, also, you get to customize your character with a bunch of different kinds of uh, uh, faces and hats and uh, all of that stuff. So uh, that's just so we. Most of them not implemented. There's uh, still a lot of polish polishing left to be done. But just to give you an idea what the game is all about. Right, so now we're gonna attack someone. And you get this stack of Tinder cards almost, and you, so you can swipe away to, well, find your match. And there we have a target still. I miss him in the beginning and he's like startled for a while before he, but then he's gonna pull out his gun and start shooting back at you if you're, if you're too slow, but I managed to get him. infamous loot system, loot boxes, yeah. So um, yeah, that's a bit, of a, a bit of gameplay for you as well. So I want to I wanna thank you for, for listening to me. It's been a, just a short, short talk about my indie journey. So thank you.